Hey guys. Um, so this is gonna be the second series of our little skill move um, series. Um, it's gonna be the second video of it. So what I want to cover today, guys, is gonna be a quick um, Ronaldo chop, right? So you've seen the little Ronaldo chop just like this, right? Like that. Okay. So before I get into the Ronaldo chop, um, the reason why a lot of people do it, um, it has a very similar effect to what we do the L turn, right? Um, so the difference between the Ronaldo chop and the L turn, um, I mean, you'll see it physically. So let's see if you can actually spot the difference of it. And then um, if you can spot the difference, I'll ask everyone at the end of the video and we'll see if you got it right, okay? So let's just dive right into it. Right, so here we have the L turn, right? This, right? So if you notice, if I do an L turn going this way, right? If I use my right foot, I'm gonna end up going this way, right? Like that. Now I'm here and now I can dribble this way. So what we have is the Ronaldo chop, which is basically the same thing, right? Um, I'd say there are really only two components of the Ronaldo chop. Um, it's just positioning yourself with the ball and then just chopping, right? But if you can do this very effectively, very quickly, it can be really good, okay? So I mentioned the first portion, which is just learning how to position yourself, right? So your footing is really important in this because if you can't get your footing right, you can't get the Ronaldo chop, right? So, and I'll provide an example on how to do it wrong and how to do it right. So we have the ball right here, right? I'm gonna do a Ronaldo chop facing the camera, right? So how do I have to position myself? Well, if I'm doing one to my left, which is this way, right? I'm doing one to my left. My right foot is gonna be the one kicking it because I have to kick it this way. So one really important part is this left foot right here. If I keep it right here, parallel, right? Like this, facing each other, then I can't get the chop through, right? I'm just gonna hit my own foot. So I have to put the other foot upwards, right? If I'm going to my left, right? This foot has to be up like this. Then that gives me space to put the ball through my legs like this, right? It gives me some space back here. It's really similar to the L turn, right? When we do the L turn, we stand like this. We stand like this with the L turn, right? With one foot in front of the other and my foot goes here, right? So this is what, and then the, the ball has to travel there. So it's the same thing. If you can do the L turn, you can definitely do the Ronaldo chop, right? So we have the ball here, right? And we're just gonna quickly like that, right? So um, one really important part is with the Ronaldo chop and I'll do this without the ball, you have to jump and hit it like this, right? It has to be kind of, it's kind of a drastic skill move, right? That's why, but if you do it really quick, it, it won't be as obvious to everyone else that you're doing it. So if you wanna practice without the ball, just go like this, right? And again, what I'm doing, I'll turn around so you can see. I'm not going like this, one foot is in front of the other. I'm practicing going Ronaldo chopping left, which means my right foot is kicking behind me. So what you're really practicing is just moving your feet both at the same time like this, right? So if I'm just going like this, you don't want to cross your feet though, because if you cross your feet, you're going to end up like this. How are you going to run? It's going to take an extra step to run and then you're going to beat yourself. So you want to practice going like this, one foot in front of the other and stop almost in a straight line. You see this? See how my feet lined up in a straight line? So again, one foot in front of the other is number one. And number two is hitting it and getting your feet to line up almost, if you can, okay? The more consistent you can get your feet to line up, the better it'll be your Ronaldo chops, okay? So step one, put one foot in front of the other. Step two, like this, even, okay? Now let's try this with the ball. Okay? So now I've got my ball here, right? Now we're ready to start actively practicing with this with the ball. So step one, what is step one? Put one foot in front of the other, okay? Step two is hitting our feet so our feet are parallel and lined up. So if this is my right foot, this is my left foot, one foot in front of the other, and then they got a big like this. So, right, and then there goes my ball. So now what I'm going to do is it's just a little demonstration to show you how drastic it actually is and how quick it is, right? So first off, I'm going to 
top we have the L turn, right? So. Now we're going to show you the Ronaldo chop. That's all I have today for our uh, skill move summer session, right? So I hope you guys enjoy the Ronaldo chop, all right? If you guys want, you can send me some videos of you guys practicing Ronaldo chop too, right? That way I can tell you if you guys are doing awesome, if you guys need a little bit of work, right? Um, or just for showing them for fun, right? Um, so thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your summer.